Adolf Hitler was a vegetarian and he had only one testicle. You know what he say, he's a one ball man off to the rodeo. Everybody, what's up? Just got off work. I'm a little thirsty. Darn tootin'. When was the last time I heard that? Darn tootin'. You heard it here. Anyways, today we got Jackie O's Pub and Brewery Morning Cloak Hoppy Pale Ale. Lublin, Lublin Driven Spring Seasonal. 4.5% alcohol by volume. It's like a, a diet beer. All right, let me look at the size of that. What the hell is that? Was that a moth? Look at that. What You explain that to me. What is that? Man, they got some... I'm sure there's somebody who, giving credit to the person who's drawn that. Probably... What, a five-year-old? What the hell is that? It looks like a moth. It might be a moth. Does that have to do something with morning cloak? Morning... I... I don't get it. Nope. Anyways, go to JackieO's.com and check out their beer because I'm going to check it out. I have had a, a couple of their beers, probably about three or four, and it's going to be fine. Honey doesn't spoil. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Alright, don't you dare overflow. <laughs> Alright, everybody sees that is cloudy. That smells, you know what? Humpy pale ale. Okay, pale ale. Alright. It, 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 like some pale ales I have, they taste like IPAs. Are they the same thing? I don't know. Maybe I should look that up. Hey, Google! Smells pretty good. I had some some pale ales that tasted way stronger than you know an IBUs and stuff. I don't know. I don't know. Well, well. Okay. Yeah. That's pretty good to be four point five, four and a half. Mm, four and a half. Blonde people have more hair than dark-haired people. What about redheads? I don't know. Okay, this is pretty good. I will give them that. This is pretty good. Where are they from? Athens, Ohio. Athens, Ohio. Where is Athens? An hour away from Cleveland, an hour away from Pittsburgh. Uh, I said Pittsburgh. I like I like Pittsburgh. I like Pittsburgh, but. Growing up, I used to say Picks, Picksburg. You see a lot of Picksburgians say Picks, P-I-C-K-S. Is that right? Am I right? The same with like a, a bunch of different things. You say Yunzers, Yuns, Yuns guys. I used to say that growing up, but I never, never, I never went to Pit. Well, I went to Pittsburgh once uh, to drop. I worked at a car dealership, drop a customer off. But um, uh, uh, Jaggers instead of Briars, they say Jaggers, and that's yeah, Jagger, uh, Buggies. Like the the shopping cart would be a buggy or a cart. I call like my mom called them buggies. I don't know. I will give this a four. A definite, a strong four. Four and a quarter. I'll go four and a quarter. I would like. I probably would. I would buy. This is pretty good. This this could be a this could be a, a very good everyday beer. That could be an everyday beer right there. Bam. I could drink that. It's seven days a week. Twenty four hours at no no. I'll be doing stupid stuff like that. I don't like to drink too early, too late in the day. I mean, it, it, it depends. If you, if you work a midnight shift, then okay, you know, you, you drink in the morning, you know, and get your party and done, whatever. But, you know, if, if I work more, it, I don't know, I can, I, four o'clock is when I start like to drinking. Three o'clock, rarely I start drinking at three o'clock in the afternoon. But if there's like a get together, a party or something like that, bam, 12 o'clock, it's, it's high noon. No shadow time. Let's start pounding them. Now, then you gotta have food and everything like that. I don't know. I don't like to drink that much. I mean, it, I don't like to get. I don't like to get drunk, and I don't like to get, you know, all of a sudden tired out and all crappy and ugh. 
Anyways, you gotta know your limit. Yeah, I like this beer a lot. This is very good. I would give it a, I, you know, I'd give it four and a quarter. Yeah, you could drink it every damn day if you want to. But, you know, I will too. Um, and the last tidbit I'm gonna give you, and if you don't like it, you can just stick it. No, um, donkeys kill more people than plane crashes. Now, wait a minute, wait a minute. Now I'm starting to think here. Since when has a donkey killed 200 some people and boom, one kick? I don't know. Plane crash has 200 some people killed on that dang thing. Or if it was a jumbo jazz, 200 some people, like a regular plane, two or three, four people. You mean there's more 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 people killed by donkeys kicking them? I'm I'm not so sure about that. How? That's a lot of kicking. That's a, not, what do they eat them? They have to kick them. What else do donkeys do? Eat? I mean, they, they probably fall off a cliff when they're driving them grand kid. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. You let me know in the comment section below. How the heck? What are they? I, I, I don't know. Bad gas killing them? I don't know. I'm full of I don't knows. Cheers.